You know, man, I distinctly remember a friend of mine. I would say this was seven years ago. We're hanging out at his house in his backyard, smoking cigars. And some other guys come over, and they're all talking about New World Order. And some of them are down with it. Others are not down with it. And I remember my friend looking at me saying, man, you know, everything that these people plan on doing, they're doing it. They're getting delayed. Sometimes some things go slower, but they're pulling it off. Man, what are we going to do? And I remember investing the money in the born, buying um, stuff to grow food in the backyard and all the rest of this, hoping that we wouldn't get to the point to where we're coming to now. The point to where the end of the story is getting close because people, not the globalists, but people are damn dumb. And I'm going to keep it real with you. It's some dumb folk out here. Some dumb, gullible, brainwashed folks. So, when you look around and you see food processing plants blowing up all over the place, when you hear about them killing cows and killing chickens and the prices of eggs spiking and going through the roof, then you go in the grocery store and you see a certain type of meat is cheaper than others. You start weighing up. You say, okay, I thought we had a an issue with the cows, but this meat is pretty cheap. When the spooky, scary monsters are right here. I told you guys, the humans are way more frightening than any demonic entity that there is. Because the humans that are sold out to it, that are completely on the side of evil, are the ones that have to do the bidding of evil. So you can sit over there and listen to creepy pastas. You go out into the woods and look for Bigfoot. You can go get molested by Bigfoot all you want. We're going to sit over here and we're going to deal with it. And we're going to talk about it. And that's all I could tell you. Go do what you do. One of the things, you know, that you see when you fight, you know, at this level, trying to protect freedom, is they can't get financial control unless they can control the food supply. Because people can always start their own currencies as long as they can grow food and they have animal protein. And so if you look at the, the push for financial control and CBDCs or things like CBDCs, it's the same push. They're pushing to control the food supply. And, and there's an absolute, if you look at sort of the operations they do and the lies they tell to get that central control, a lot of it is to, you know, excuse and justify the things they're doing to get control of the food supply. So you and I discussed pharma food. Yes. Which we published before. Dutch farmers and fishermen. Ask yourself a question. Who? Uh, let's not even say who, because who is not the right word. What wants to control the food supply and why? CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. Who wants a CBDC? Who needs a central digital currency? These are the kind of things you should be thinking about when you're deciding who you're going to vote for. These are the kind of things you should be reviewing before you decide you're going to go in a voting booth. Shouldn't just be running around. Oh, my friends say they're going to vote for this person, so I'm going to vote that way because we all friends, and I want all my friends to accept me. Everybody likes me. You understand what I'm saying to you, homie? So this is an entire study on synth- What wants this? What entity benefits from this? Synthetic food, including lab-grown meat and insect-based flour. Bioengineered. And bioengineered. It's basically the pharmaceutical industry taking over the food supply. So the idea is we get rid of farmers, we kill any- naturally grown food and we engineer food in manufacturing plants and laboratories. Here's what you need to understand. One of the reasons I'm working and I'm so committed to preventing financial transaction control is that is what they are planning on to feed you synthetic lab grown meat. No one in their right mind would ever eat this stuff. But the reality is what they're hoping. Damn, y'all saw that ghost open that door behind there? Is that is that you know once they have control of your transactions, 
They can what kind of haunted house bull crap you got going on in your house, girl? Can dictate your health policy. One in their right mind would ever eat this stuff, but the reality is what they're hoping. Damn, live on TV. Oh, look, let's see if the I want to see the door handle bends down. No one in their right mind would ever eat. Okay. It's probably somebody who opened a door in another room and a wind draft blew that open. Because if you can look at this, you see there's no latch on the no notch on the door. So those are doors that just press and close. Okay. That can be explained away. This stuff. I I, I gotta check it out. All right, guys, for this one moment. We just 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 bear with me. Let's see what the hell done happened back here. All right, we're looking for a reflection. We're looking right up in this area to see if somebody pressed it. We see a movement of a hand. Synthetic lab grown meat. No one in their right mind would ever. No, ain't nobody there. Ever eat. Now we're looking for a reflection as the door opens. Y'all seen anybody face up in there? The reality is what they're hoping is that is that you know once they have control of your transactions. They can dictate your health policies and they can dictate what food you can and cannot buy. So if they don't want you buying pizza, you can't buy pizza. If they right. want you to buy pizza made with insect-based flour, that's what you're going to get. That's one of the reasons they want this kind of control. And remember, you had John Kerry, Kerry saying, you know, we ought to get rid of all the farmers. They're literally planning on getting rid of all the farmers and instituting you know, food created synthetically in manufacturing laboratories. You, you, have, you have to read it. And, and one of the reasons you have to read it is the reason to f stop them from putting your farmers and fishermen out of business and pushing them off their land is if they succeed in doing that, you and I will be eating lab-grown meat. That's their plan. Bill Gates, lab-grown meat. We done talked about this a hundred times. It's amazing. The truth is there. Remember on uh, the X-Files, he said, the truth is out there. Hell yeah, the truth is right in front of your face. It's right in front of your face. But instead, people say, oh, I want to go eat the bugs. Let's try the bugs. The bugs look like they might be cute. Oh, that tastes so good. Let's try the bugs. I don't know what to tell you, man. Some of that Bill Gates tell you. Listen to what Bill got to say for it. Large part of the carbon we have in the atmosphere now is caused by the electricity grid, which is about 25 percent or so. Exactly. So 24 um, percent, it comes from agriculture and forestry. Why is that causing such a big increase in carbon? Cows and other grass-eating species uh, have a digestion system that emits methane. And methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas. And so cows alone uh, account for about 6% of global emissions. And so we need to change cows, uh, cows just cows alone. Uh, How are we going to do that? Well, uh, actually, of all the categories, uh, the one that has gone better than I would have expected five years ago is this work to make what's called artificial meat. And so you have people like Impossible or Beyond Meat, both of which uh, I invested in. You eat it as well? Or do you like it? The Absolutely. You, do. Uh, you can go to uh, Burger King and buy the Impossible Burger. All right. Is it healthier for you or just healthier for the atmosphere? It's, it's slightly healthier for you in terms of less cholesterol. It's, of course, dramatic reduction in uh, methane emissions, you know, animal cruelty, manure management, and the pressure that meat consumption puts on land use. You know, the main reason why we need to increase the agricultural output over the rest of this century is not the population increase. It's that as countries get richer, they eat more meat. And meat is a very inefficient way of, of creating calories.